This is Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination and Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Uh, you can find the book on Amazon in both Kindle and paperback versions, and you can find us on Facebook in our active Facebook group. Uh, today, uh, I'd like to introduce to you uh, the Magi Method Playing Card Deck. Uh, which is now available on Etsy slash the Magi Method. Just search Etsy and Magi Method and you'll find the playing card deck. Uh, and you'll also find the book. I'm selling uh, the, the paperback copy of the book for a dollar less on Etsy than I'm selling it um, on Amazon. It's, uh, it's a dollar cheaper on Etsy. Um, so anyway, uh, this is how this is a review of the deck. The deck is an ordinary uh, playing card deck. It's actually a little bit. It's slightly thicker in profile than an ordinary playing card deck, which indicates uh, that in fact the card stock is a little bit thicker. Uh, so here's one of the cards on the back. Uh, this is the back. It's uh, the Magi and the star, and it says Magi Method. Every card is like that. Okay, all 54 cards. It's a 54 card deck. It follows exactly. Um, it it follows the book. Okay, the Magi Method. This is the Magi Method, and it can be read with uh, ordinary playing cards, okay, just like here on the, the book. Uh, and you can, you can mark your cards or you can read them uh, plain with no marking. Uh, but here's a deck. This is uh, a playing card deck following my method. Um, and it has images. And these images, you know, correspond to uh, to what's in the book. Like, let's see. So the first card is the heart. Okay, ace of hearts. Heart. Here's the heart card. Uh, the next card is the ace of diamonds, which is the sun card. Okay, and I give a description of, you know, everything. The sun may represent clarity, insight, illumination. Uh, this is also a success card. So, uh, these the magi cards uh follow exactly the images and the cards this is a playing card deck and it follows exactly uh the book okay and the images that you see in your mind's eye okay and it, it's right here it's it's visually presented in front of you for those who like it because there's a lot of oracle decks and this is this is the Magi Method uh, card deck, and it's available on Etsy. So, um, the reason uh, I wrote a book um, is because uh, the, dif the difference with the Magi Method uh, from other PC systems is really the logic of the method. And I very intentionally um, was very logical. Uh, some of the other systems, they really jump around, okay? And basically, um, the heart card is always in every, in every number and suit is the opposite. The heart and the spades are opposite energies. And this is very obvious in the Jack of Hearts and the Jack of Spades, the devil. The Jack of Hearts is the angel and the Jack of Spades is the devil. These are opposite energies, okay? And in between, as you progress from the hearts to the diamonds to the clubs to the spades, the energy moves uh, logically. It slows and it moves logically until you get to the spades, until you get to the polar opposite energy. And in some of the other systems, it seems... A bit more random and they'll say things like well this is the historical meaning and 
And as much as possible, I incorporated those meanings, like the Nine of Hearts is the, the wish card, okay, and that's because of the strong influence of the Tarot, which is the Nine Cups. Uh, so the Nine of Hearts is the Yes card, okay, and the Nine of Spades being its opposite is the No card. So there's a lot of logic, and I did as much as possible incorporate uh, the historical meanings. So uh, I'm going to try to go through the cards. I don't know if I'll be able to get through all of them because that's just a lot. Um, the Ace of Hearts is the Heart card. Um, and the Ace of Spades is the Straight Razor. Okay. Uh, the Heart is the Aces contain all of the energy of all of the number, all of the other cards in its suit. So the Ace of Heart c contains all of the energy of the all of the potential energy of all of the hearts. The Ace of Diamonds is the Sun. Uh, this contains all of the energy of the possible uh, diamond suits. Uh, the Ace of uh, Clubs here, I don't know if you can see this very well. This is the mustard seed, and so it's a giant tree with seeds in it. Um, so, and the mustard seed is the smallest seed that grows up into the largest plant. Uh, the Ace of Spades is the straight razor. Uh, so let's just go through some of the cards. And this is how they appear in the book. Uh, they go hearts, diamonds, clubs, spades. And when you get from the hearts is the fastest energy, the spades, the energy reverses upon itself. So two of hearts is the lovers, okay? And here I have uh, the locks in France, okay? The lovers locks in France with a very sensual pair of lips because love gets messy. Um, two of diamonds is the diamond ring. Uh, two eternal circles uh, inside the yin and the yang with a diamond. You know, a diamond is the hardest possible surface and can never be broken. Uh, two of clubs, the handcuffs, those are actually feet, but I think this image is better. It's about being bound. Uh, I don't know if you can see that very well. There's also barbed wire there. There's a real caged effect to this this card. And these just give you visual images to work with uh, based on the meanings in the book. Uh, playing card divination, fortune telling the Magi method. Two of spades is the broken chalice. Uh, it's about splitting apart. Uh, there's a lot of water in this card. It's about emotions. And water runs out of a broken chalice. Things it. It doesn't contain, uh, the vessel no longer contains what it's supposed to contain. Um, three of Hearts is the roses, okay? Beauty, the Holy Spirit, Mother Mary, uh, physical, you know, uh, romance. Uh, three of Diamonds is the Trinity. Uh, three acting as one. This is people working together, everyone being of one mind. Three of clubs is uh, three black birds, uh, and three spades is scourge. And uh, notice the logic of the system, you know, the opposites, uh, and how the energy moves through the, through the suits until we get... Okay, fours are about structure, okay? Uh, a car has four wheels. Uh, so a cornerstone is a good example of this. It's any physical thing. It's a bank account. It's a, it's a physical house. It's, uh, anything physical with four walls, four wheels. This is what the fours are. Home is about family and the people living there, all the shoes. Okay. These are the people coming and this is friends and family and homies and everybody. Uh, this is the physical, uh, structure of things. Uh, and diamonds are very much about money. Four-leaf clover is about luck, getting lucky, um, a, something that passes quickly, a, a nice opportunity that will pass quickly. Four of spades is, is the death card, coffin. Uh, but here we have a nice dove. We have a dove waiting right there in the wings, waiting for the resurrection. So it's death, but after death comes life and... Cartromancers like to remind you of that uh, a lot. Um, fives are about change, 
Five of Hearts is the fence sitter. She's a little dark in this image, uh, but she's just sitting on the fence between this option and that option. Five of Diamonds is Jacob's Ladder. Uh, goes all the way up into heaven. Um, Five of Clubs is the crossroads, making decisions. Five of Spades is the roadblock. And you can see that you're not going to get anywhere. That road is flooded out. Okay, and that's a, just a nice image. Um, sixes are about relationship. Six of Hearts is the karmic relationship. Um, so these are people that you know. Six of Diamonds is hand in hand. A lot of people working together. Six of Clubs is the, the olive tree, rootedness, Six of Spades. Uh, this is a very unique card in my system. The Incubus Succubus, uh, she will suck the life out of you. It's male or female. Um, and that's representative of a demon that will literally suck the life out of you. Sevens are return cards. Everything returns. that They endlessly recycle. Um, uh, so, and they're direction cards. This is, uh, this is big luck. The finger of God used a very classic painting. I love this image. And I, I just had to use this image. I love this image. Uh, this is, I think that's Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, God touching, and the, and the, the people behind. It's a shame you can't see it that well. But there are people in the background reaching out. The Star of Bethlehem. Uh, healing, hope, the cross, burdens, but also uh, permanence. Uh, you know, this is very much a marriage card. The veil, uh, this is the lotus flower behind the veil. So, um, enlightenment lies behind the veil. All kinds of things lie behind the veil, including addictions, uh, divination, anything hidden. Oh, how did you get turned around? Okay, eights are about abundance. So here, uh, water into wine. You can see the, the grapes and the water and the wine casks. Um, and so eights are abundance. And see the opposites? This is being blamed. Uh, in my video on Johnny Depp, the scapegoat card came up. And Johnny Depp is getting scapegoated. Um, uh, eight diamonds cornucopia. This is literally the card of money okay this is about all the abundance of the material things um eight clubs a city so and here we have another a nice pair of opposites um we have the yes and the no uh nines are about the completion of action things are about to finish with the nines things are about to be completed so yes and no mercury comes very quickly uh so a race car with Mercury himself uh, and his winged sandals. Uh, and high tower, uh, clubs are much slower energy. So the high tower just stands alone, not really going anywhere except up. Um, tens are, are completion. Okay, nines are almost complete. Things are about to be done. Tens are... A recycling tens take you right back to one so the ten hearts this is joy cup overflowing and I have wine uh, I have a wine glass with uh, wine corks coming out of it and a big splash of water inheritance uh, so diamonds tend to be about money and the physical things of life ten of clubs is the hamster wheel I just kind of love this image one of my favorite images. Um, and the Ten Spades, Earthquake, it's a disaster. Uh, it's a disaster. So then we're back to the Jacks. And of course we have the Angel and the Devil, very nice polar opposites. Nines, yes and no. We have the player, we have strength. The player has lots of money. Hopefully you can see that well. The player has lots of money. He dresses very nice. He's the new guy. Strength is about, it's not just the strong man. It's endurance. It's determination. Uh, 
very much like that. Then we're into the queens. Uh, we have the woman. She's a good woman. And you see how the energy comes to her. Uh, the, the, the woman tends to be passive energy. The snake... Uh, Look at how angry this snake is. I just love how angry this snake is. Hope you can see that. Just uh, this, The snake is not going to be chasing the antelope. You know, it just lays there. Mother Earth, there's a, a, a baby in there uh, with a tree. Uh, and a fox, very clever, very beautiful. That brings us to the kings. And of course we have the magi. And this is the this is the strongest energy in the deck, which is the Magi. He's the magician. He can do anything. Uh, he can accomplish his will. Here's the man. Very outward looking. He's going to go conquer the world and all its difficulties. The ruler. I think this is Napoleon. I love this image as well. This is Napoleon. And the executioner. Very decisive. He may harm you. He may help you, but he's going to get it done. And that leaves us with the final two images, uh, which is the butterfly and karmic shift. I just love this image, the butterfly. Boy, I worked really hard on that image. <laughs> and then the karmic shift. Everything changes. So anyway, this is uh, the Magi deck. It's available um, on Etsy. Uh, for purchase under Magi Method, Etsy, the Magi Method. Um, I'm Joseph Magi. Let's uh, back up here a little bit. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination and Fortune Telling, the Magi Method. Uh, find us on Etsy. Find us on Amazon uh, in Kindle and Paperbook. And join us on Facebook in our active group.